marching with purpose through the dusty streets of Tarim. This isn't a show of force, rather a demonstration of faith. It is the festival of Eid at the end of Ramadan, one of the most important occasions in the Islamic calendar. Young and old answer the call to prayer in one of Yemen's most historic and holy cities. They also claim there are more descendants of the Prophet Muhammad in this city than anywhere else. Locals say there are 365 mosques here. That's one for every day of the year. This one, the Jama' al-Mahbar, was the first mosque built in Tarim, which many Yemenis consider the spiritual center of Islam. This is a remote part of Yemen renowned for its religious schools. Some have recently come under scrutiny for alleged links with extremist groups, and Al-Qaeda has a presence in this land of dusty valleys and towering cliffs. But residents say the teachings here in Tarim have nothing in common with Osama bin Laden's militant interpretation of Islam. Dar al-Mustafa, the local religious school, attracts students from all over the world to study Sufism, a mystical and philosophical strand of the Islamic faith. There's no formal curriculum. As for entrance requirements, only one applies, seeking. So thanks again for taking Michael, who's been here over 10 years, is one of Dar al-Mustafa's many foreign students. Originally from Berkeley, California, he began seeking at 17 when he converted to Islam. That I felt that um, because of the activities that a typical young man would do in the United States and California in the 80s, I felt like there was a lot of corrosion on my heart. For Michael, the journey here was a long but redemptive one, a pilgrimage he feels purified his soul, deepened his faith, and restored his humanity. You feel a place where people love God, and they love his prophets, and they love others and show them mercy for their sake. Mohammed al-Junaid directs the research center at Dar al-Mustafa. He says the students experience a pure Islam here without negativity and conflict between different sects and groups. The campus and its surroundings are simple, something other students agree is a major drawing point, the sense of peace and tranquility they find there. The important of it is that it actually shows uh, that you could have a modern way of life free from the materialism that is almost always connected with the modernity of life. And the students here seem unconcerned about the persistent threat of Al-Qaeda in parts of Yemen. Yemen is so, um, is so diverse, as, as you saw, between here and the north is a, is a mountain range and a desert. That um, those things, I look at those things the way I would if I were in, uh, in Minnesota and there were riots in L.A. In this town, residents and students alike hope that conservative Islam will not be mistaken for extremism, a refrain that echoes as loudly through the streets as their call to prayer. Mohammed Jamjoum, CNN, Tarim, in Hadramaut Province, Yemen.